Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be looking at the crop tool and how the crop tool can be used to um, make a picture follow the rule of thirds. So you have this image here which um, is symmetrical uh, to a certain degree. You have a little bit more space over here on the bottom left than the bottom right. But I think if we were to get the crop tool we would see that the middle of this pole, uh, the point, I should say, happens right in the middle. So uh, there's both symmetry and non-symmetry here. If we wanted to make the bottom actually perfectly symmetrical, um, we could just rotate this actually and probably get it so that it was centered and even and balanced. So um, that actually looks centered and even and balanced. So let's take this image that's very center composed right now and turn it into the rule of thirds. I want to talk about a couple of things using the crop tool. Um, let's start right here, the difference between classic mode and the uh, latest version of Photoshop CC mode. So if you're in Photoshop CC and you um, get a crop um, and you're not using the classic mode, um, when you grab the picture, it's going to move the picture around. When you're in classic mode, you're going to actually be moving the crop tool around. So that's one of the key differences there. Um, I prefer the classic mode, but you can um, kind of select several different options up here. The main thing that we're concerned with, especially for today, is the rule of thirds. So you could choose um, several um, grid overlays. Um, we're going to choose the rule of thirds, which I believe is the default. And we're going to go ahead and take this photo. I'm going to hit escape on the keyboard, and that's going to get me back to here. And what I'm going to do is click and drag my crop tool. And basically, there's a couple things I can do. The first is going to be to drag down from the top to make sure that the top of the pole kind of hits in the, the top third here. And I could be done, actually. This, this would be one way to crop um, using following the rule of thirds. But if we, want to, if we want to follow it even more, we would go ahead and come um, over from the left or the right. Uh, it really doesn't matter um, which way you you come from here um, because it's so symmetrical. It really, I would say, maybe depends how much blue you want in your photos. If you want more blue, you would come from over here. And if you wanted more white, you would go over here. Um, in this case, I think I like the blue. So we're going to go ahead and choose this crop. Um, and you can see here that we're really bisecting that intersecting point here, the top, what we call the top right third. We just click the uh, uh, checkbox here to confirm. And now this image is following the rule of thirds. So I'm just hit Command Z. This is before, and then here is after. Um, in this case, I might actually go back and, and just try something because it was close to a square. Um, maybe let's make it uh, a perfect square. So we're going to drag this over, and we're going to have that follow the rule of thirds. So it's a little bit different than what it was before. In this case, it's now a perfect square, though. So um, it's following the rule of thirds um, in, in some ways. You could probably. Um, think about this a couple of different ways too. If we if we looked at this third down here that's sort of going off the edge of the screen down on the bottom right, uh, pretty close to that third there. So um, that seems to work pretty well. And that's it. That's cropping using the rule of thirds. Um, in this case, I, I didn't use classic mode, but normally I would be using classic mode. And then you've got the rule of thirds right here. Um, I also did chose a ratio of one to one, but you could definitely choose a different ratio or no ratio at all. You would just hit clear if you have numbers up there. And that's that.